the Russian Air Force has been unable to take control of Ukrainian airspace, thanks in part to the expertise of pilots trained in the United States. Joining me now are two Ukrainian Air Force pilots trained by Americans. They go by the call signs Moonfish and Juice. We're using their call signs to protect their identities. They're wearing their gear, as you can see, so that we can't show their faces. But it's great to have you both on. Juice, let me just start with you. I don't want you to reveal operational details, but what has it been like for you to battle the Russians in the sky? Yeah, hello everyone. Uh, thank you for your invitation. It's a great, uh, great opportunity to show the situation in our airspace. So from the first day, uh, we are trying to hold our skies, try, trying to defend our cities, our families, our hospitals, and our critical infrastructure. So uh, as for me, as for uh, fighter pilot, I'm sitting in a quick reaction award duty, uh, and I'm um, intercepting Russian targets, Russian threats, aerial threats like uh, bombers, helicopters, cruise missiles, etc. Moonfish, we keep reporting that the Russians have not been able to establish complete air superiority. Uh, so how have you been able to keep them from that? Uh, what I would say uh, that uh, combining the efforts of our fighters, as well as uh, ground air defense, uh, is, is a really good mix, is a really good match. Uh, and uh, yeah, it is true, we feel uh, free right now to operate in our airspace, and uh, they have uh, control of very little part of Ukrainian sky. And that, that is where those brutal bombing of peaceful cities like Mariupol and Kharkiv are happening. But um, so far, uh, by joining all uh, like all the efforts we have, we've been able to we we are able to keep uh, our sky uh, off uh, out out of Russia. Moonfish, how much longer do you think you will be able to do this? Uh, this war uh, does not appear to end soon, to be over soon. Uh, I think uh, in case we will get some reinforcements reinforcements by uh, I, I, by uh, by if west will provide us with some additional jets with uh, some additional sams and we're we're really looking forward to it we i think we will be able to uh, control our sky for 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 a while right now we have we do not do not have a lack of experience and highly motivated pilots to do the job uh, but uh, it it might happen that we will be lacking And Juice, I, I, know, I know you would love to have new, more jets. But in addition to that, what do you need from NATO in the West? Yeah, so uh, th the first problem, uh, it's a number. Of course, it's a number of jets, number of, of SAMs. Uh, but another problem is technologies. Unfortunately, uh, Russian Air Force has an advantage in technologies. So using this, this baby, I... I'm not efficient. I'm not effective against Russian jets, against Russian uh, fighters. So we need something uh, more advanced, uh, something modern. Uh, so we need uh, a Western platforms. Maybe it, it could be a pretty old jets as a platform, but with new missiles and with new radars and other systems uh, to be efficient, uh, not to be... Uh, afraid uh, not to be scared of uh, Russian technologies. So uh, we are pushing them from our border, from our front lines, but uh, we couldn't uh, gain real full air superiority. We need something mm -hmm. modern. We need something uh, more advanced. In Moonfish, we've been talking about the success you've been having, keeping the Russians from controlling the sky, but I do know it has come at a cost. What has it been like for you to see your your fellow pilots, the soldiers, and Ukrainian civilians suffering? Uh, well, of course, it is heartbreaking uh, to watch all of that. It is really hard to to lose close friends. We are we're comparatively small air force, and we know each other by names. 
and of course we know well all 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 our uh, all our fallen friends and uh, yeah it is especially uh, disappointing to see that western countries sometimes maybe do not have such a political will to give us uh, all those new fighters so that we can keep our sky clean and stop that brutal bombing moonfish uh, juice i know for you too this is a 24-hour job and i know it hasn't been going on just for a month i know it's been going on for eight years i appreciate you being with us this morning i've never had a discussion quite like this one uh, it's an honor to have you on. I wish you the best. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you.